In this video, I want to talk about insulation baffles or attic baffles. They're probably the most misused and overused product out there. Now, the intent of an insulation baffle is to keep the insulation from falling from the attic and down into the soffit. We don't want that insulation covering our soffit vents. However, most of the time they're just jammed down in there and when they blow the insulation in, it still just goes down into the soffits. I'm going to show you a way to use attic foil to create an insulation baffle that works great and is easy to install. Basically, you're going to install the attic foil in the lower part of the attic. You're going to staple it up and push it down. Now, depending whether you have existing insulation or if it's new construction, you can do it a couple different ways. But really, all you're going to do is take a utility knife. You can use the ceiling joists as cutting boards and then you can push the attic foil back on top of the top plate of the wall and this creates kind of a pocket or a backstop. So now when you blow in the insulation, it'll still sit on the top of the wall so the top of the wall is insulated, but it will prevent that insulation from going down into the soffits. If you're going to use the attic foil as an insulation baffle, the install is a little different than a standard retrofit attic. In a normal attic, you're going to stop two or three inches above the insulation so that air can flow from the soffit into the attic. With this system, you're going to run the attic foil all the way down, create that pocket. But now what you need to do is still create a path for the air to come into the attic. What you want to do is when you get to the, the, the top of that first piece, you want to leave a two or three inch gap uh, between the bottom piece and the next piece. Or you can just come through and cut a slit through the attic foil so that air can come from the soffit between the attic foil and the roof deck, and then at this point, it can either be drawn into the attic or it can continue all the way up to the top of the attic. Either way, you want air to flow freely through the attic as though the foil's not even there. And that's how you use attic foil radiant barrier to create an insulation baffle in your attic. For more information, visit atticfoil.com and be sure to order your free sample kit.